What happened to those who had attended a botched wedding? Friends wedding. A bunch of people got food poisoning at the rehearsal dinner. Including the groom. He spent the night at the ER getting fluids and medication to stop puking. This was an awesome high-end wedding and he almost cancelled. He was a pale green color and basically sipped Gatorade all day and got through it. He married his HS sweetheart and they have been married 30 years. I attended an outdoor wedding. In December. All the guests assumed there would be shelter heating but nope nothing was provided. All us guests were freezing cold. Some got drunk as fast as they could and others kept asking the staff for cups of tea, not to drink but to hold the warm cups. It was awful. My wife and I watched in horror as the wedding planner proceeded to get very sloppily drunk and exceedingly outlandish behavior. It came crashing to an end when she started dancing grinding on the father of the bride with his wife and the bride a few feet away staring in shock. Lots of shouting and then the groom's men not so kindly escorted her out. It wasn't a botched wedding, but definitely eventful. The best man choked on a piece of steak. I didn't see it happen but I guess someone performed the Heimlich. It came out, anyway. They called an ambulance you always should go to hospital even if obstruction is removed and he left. Another groomsman did an impromptu speech, which was brave of him. He started off with I guess best man bit off more than he could chew with the troll. The bride said no at the altar. Literally walked back down the aisle and out the door. The groom stood for a moment and then went to a side room. The minister followed the groom, then came back and said that while the wedding was off, the reception would go forward since the food was already there. Awkward reception and nobody stayed long after eating. The bride was dead set on wearing not one but two designer gowns. To finance all of that there was no heating at the lovely February wedding. They also provided only food and cake for a third of the guests. The food itself was two small patties, white sauce, about 100 grains 3 ounces of cooked chicken. But she did love both her dresses. The photographer at my wedding got absolutely shit-faced and puked all over. Ended up passing out by the bathrooms. You can see in the pictures how the drunkenness progressed. A co-worker was to one of my closest friend's wedding, and there were strict food regulations no nuts. Present were a few of individuals present who were really allergic, including the maid of honor. The venue served something with nuts, and the maid of honor became anaphylactic. The EpiPen did not work, and she died on the way to the hospital. Needless to say, there are several lawsuits. I find it astonishing that so many of these stories mention no RSVPS. Would it not be clearly requested in the invitations? Especially for a catered event like a wedding. I worked at a wedding where the couple had sent out 100 invitations without RSVP. They had no clue how many people would show up, but they did tell the venue to prepare dinner for 150 guests. 35 people showed up. 25 kilos of prepared salmon fillet got thrown out. The party ended fairly early because the few guests that were there started leaving around 9.30. We were home early. I didn't get to see it but my parents went to a wedding where the bride walked up the aisle, stood up front and calmly thanked her parents, his parents, and everyone for coming. Then thanked her maid of honor for sleeping with her fiancé last night. She then walked out of the church. My parents said some went to the reception because the parents of the bride and groom felt bad and wanted the people to at least eat. My parents just came home. 1. The ring bearer threw up at the altar during the vows. 2. The best man's wife went into labor between the ceremony and the reception. 3. The bride's brother shot off fireworks horizontally instead of vertically and set the bride's dress on fire. All in the same wedding. His father had received a terminal cancer diagnosis and had been fighting the disease up to my friend's wedding. And while he hoped to be well enough to attend, it was touch and go whether he would be well enough. In the end, he was too sick. My acquaintance was told that his father had recently passed away as soon as we arrived at the wedding reception. It was disastrous. 
The lights came up after dinner and the groom said we're not dancing people so just mingle and everyone left. A fight broke out between father of the bride, brother of the bride and some guy that just happened to be staying at the hotel. In reality I don't know how much of a fight it was, more just the dad and brother assaulting some man. So anyway they were both arrested. Cut to the bride sobbing at breakfast because her dad and brother spent the evening of her wedding in jail and now face assault charges for what they did to this poor man. We had an older gentleman pass out at our wedding, it was on a boat and a few beers mixed with the boat rocking made us have to dock. After he left in the ambulance and we sailed back out, the DJ not sure if he's away he did this played I will survive. At my in-law's wedding. It was not until the actual ceremony, the groom standing at the altar, the bride in arm with her father. They then realized that the officiant had not shown up. Turns out he forgot about the wedding and had gone fishing with his son. My cousin's wedding the groom was trying to get his catering business off the ground so he catered his own wedding which meant he was in the kitchen cooking during the reception. It was so weird. The food kept coming out in waves and they ran out before our table was ever served. We left early and went to McDonald's LOL. Bride and groom had a typical wedding rehearsal the night before at a golf course resort same place everyone was staying that night, and the following night after the wedding. It went great, and after it was all done the wedding party celebrated with dinner and drinks, after that they all decided to cruise around the grounds via golf cart. They took a turn to sharp, bride fell off the golf cart, hit her head and died. It was very traumatizing. 